keep it secret, it's a different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you win. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today we have Hubert Jones replica build, aka straight jacket. Before we get into the video, though, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, as liking the video puts the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put your naughty game for my daily uploads. But now let's hop straight into this video, okay? So I'm not gonna lie to you, this is going to be the best lockdown replica build we're gonna have in the game. And it's also probably the best replica name on the game. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Straight Jacket is insane. And you already know I'm gonna be making this. So don't even ask. You know this is being made. Cause he's left handed too. You know what I mean? Shout out to Lethys. But yeah, shooting guard number five. Hubert Jones has definitely been a very, very, very huge part of the Pelicans rebuild. And again, man, he is a very, very, very good lockdown defender, um, three and D type player high flyer i mean like he does it all man so i'm really interested to see what y'all think but yeah six foot seven you want to go 208 pounds seven foot wingspan um body shape doesn't really matter but i'm gonna go to find okay and then what we're gonna do here is this he's only a 79 overall in the game so you're actually able to juice him a lot so he gets that 93 close shot which will give you the hall of fame fearless finisher he's able to get the 80 driving layup to get the zach levine layup package and he's also able to get an 80 dunk which will allow you to get quick drops so that alone lets you know how nasty this is going to be because he gets all the comp you know all the comp animations then he gets a 60 standing dunk he also will get a 70 post control which is actually pretty dope because that does give him gold post paint technician so again we're actually able to juice a lot with this all right is this really him in real life no but again lower replica builds the lower the overall the replica build the better the replica build actually is going to be okay um then on the shooting side really strong on the shooting side a 79 on the mid-range he gets an 84 on the three ball which again is really good you go that's the highest you can go on him you can't go no higher so just keep that in mind um right now he has a 76 three ball so again with the plus eight you're only able to go to 84 it'll you know and at the, and, and at the end of the day all you really need is just claymore and catch and shoot for any type of spot up build then we want to go 71 on the free throw um, 77 on the pass accuracy and then we want to go 83 on the ball handle and of course 75 with the speed with ball okay so we have 19 total there which is pretty dope then you want to go 60 on the um, interior defense 92 on the perimeter defense which will give you the gold clamps and it'll give you gold challenger it also will give you hall of fame menace again these are really big 87 on the steel okay so now we'll give you silver glove um I wanted to try to get to gold glove, but you're not able to get gold glove. You know, like once you do your plus eight, it's, it's going to stop at 94. You're one attribute short. So with that said, I decided not to go that high and just stay lower and then add it elsewhere. OK, so that's why we're, I'm happy with this because you also get to go pick dodger. So basically everything you will want, you'll get. All right. From um, the most important attributes, I guess, or badges for a lockdown, you'll get. OK, um, blocks only at 52. 44 on the offensive rebound 47 on the defensive so as you can see he only has 14 so you know this is going to be the, the main focus of trying to get as many bash points maybe double coring would be the option here but yeah this is going to be the very huge focus 76 on the speed 73 on acceleration so again we're not worried about acceleration because he's not gonna be a primary ball handler he does have the michael jordan dribble style right with the 75 speed with ball but this is going to be like a you know a lockdown right so you're not worrying about dribbling icing up you do have an 83 ball handle though so again the 83 ball handle will give you the elite dribble animations you're just not able to get like all the crazy crazy ones but again like i said man it's all about preference and to me if you're the lockdown all you really care about is just your defense and your shooting okay and then again like i'm not jumping back but his pass accuracy is 77 so it's like he's got really good pass accuracy like this lockdown can do it all like look 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 just look at it 20 21 19 i mean everything you're looking at he actually is pretty solid in right you know you're playing on the perimeter you don't need to worry about offensive defensive rebound yeah the block could be higher but this is a replica build right and again to have these type of attributes is actually insane um, then we want to go here to the strength is a 52. We want to go 65 on the vert 
and then of course 90 on the stamina so 20 21 19 14 so yes this will be the focus the def the defense of make sure we get all the badges that we want so that'll be something looking to um again you get the options of lock of course playmaking sharp and shot creating i went with perimeter badge drop and spot of precision i think those are really good i mean limitless nah spot of precision might be the best bet or go with of course extreme clamps as a double take all right so it's really your preference there but regardless i think that it's going to be absolutely fun to run with because as you're going to see right here man the name is the name is insane i definitely recommend y'all go ahead if you're locked down you want to have a build that can be fun you'd have your main lockdown but you want to go in the park and have a, a build like this straight jacket nah this is crazy all right this is crazy yes this man has you in a jacket has you on clamps like this is absolutely insane man so yeah so now what we're gonna do is this we're gonna test this build out real quick get 99 and of course we'll get you out of here so uh, let's go here all right and then what you want to do again the big ones here are going to be the fearless finisher um where are we at where is it at? fast twitch is that that's 11 so let's drop this down here okay so then now here the big ones are going to be limitless takeoff you got to core that you could also go with slithery i don't I have no problem with that get your fearless finisher so these are the three most important stuff right around the basket i will go ahead and go with bronze rise up he is six seven but giant slayer just doesn't seem really good to me i don't really care about that acrobats another good option you can do that um and this is probably what i would do post band technician it would be fun um, in the park trying to you know work in the post but let's just say you're trying to keep it comp and be a lockdown this is what i'll go with um, on this side of course green machine catch and shoot off rip those are the port ones down here you want to core blinders you have the opportunity for dead eye i will actually look at dead eye but for the most part i'm gonna go corner specialist but i'm just gonna have that on Bron well nah let's get that on gold too yeah let's get that on gold i'm trying to think of this oh claymore all right and then let's go amps all right yeah dead eye could be a good option but i just don't see myself shooting that many type of shots but i love blinders when people you know come coming um break in on the corners so i like to go there but yeah this is what i would do here again don't worry about that here we want to go quick first step um hyper drive that's nine um let's come up here let's get our, our needle threaded that's 10 so then now here what we want to get is we want to core all right so we're oh, let me see there's also plug all right, so let's get unpluckable. Let's get boom. So then we got, so we need to add two badges here. So I want to add two here so we can get clamp breaker. All right, so that's gonna be important. I want to get clamp breaker. All right, just to have, I need to have that. All right, so that's what I want to do. But until then, I'm just gonna go like this. All right, but that will be the most important thing too. Get clamp breaker as a secondary ball handler. I just want to have it just to be able to dribble a little bit. All right. Then on defense, this is where you're going to take a lot of work. Remember, he only has 14, so you're not even able to touch anything down here, okay? So let's just keep that in mind. Let's just do the math, right? We're core this, so that's you know that's seven. So um, And then we have a glove that's 16. So, I mean, you're definitely going to have to double core this. Like, it's not even an option. So once we core, so we need at least 17. So we're, if you have 17, we'll core that, all right? Then we'll get this. That'll leave us with one badge point left all right i'm trying to do the math here we still need to get minutes so let's do this first we want minutes we need pick dodger all right so that's boom and boom that's six seven eight nine i hope stay with me here because i wanted to show you how i am able to decipher how many badges i need so that's nine we need to get workhorse so that's ten right so at least it was four left over we need seven so we add three that'd be seven that'd be seven we'll core this we still have seven left over we get glove right and then we have one left over and then with that one left over we can still go and get here right we'll have one left over but if you double core boom boom right then you'll be able to have more badge points to be able to get whatever else you need but to me the most important stuff will be menace it'll be pick dodger it'll be it'll be workhorse it'll be clamps and glove challenger will be good to have but you just don't have enough badge points for it so again but you could then again though you could you could core, double core these two and then get challenger right so and then but you just will only have workhorse on brian so there's a lot of ways to look at this just take your time figure out what badges you want but you need to double core if you're able to double core or add all your badges here and then go from there all right so let's see anyway 
But anyway, there you have it, my nephews and nieces. This is the straight jacket replica build. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this build. But other than that, it's your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with another banger, man. You know, when I say back to another banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.